Hello and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be filming a what is in my freelance kit. So as you all know I am a freelance makeup artist, I'm based in a salon but I'm still self-employed and I work for myself but this is just a video I thought that would be helpful to most of you who want to maybe pursue a career in makeup artistry or are just curious about what I carry in my kit. And oh yes, I don't actually mention about any brushes in this video so if you want me to do like a brush collection video and what I keep in my brush belt then um, let me know and I will but I think I want to do like a beginner's guide to what brushes you should get and what brushes you should have in your kit um, like the minimum brushes you need in your kit. Um, I definitely will be doing some sort of a brush video because I actually purchased loads of new brushes recently so um, I definitely will be doing something like that but let me know if you want me to do like a separate video on my brush belt but I don't show my brush belt in this video because the video is going to be so long just to warn you. But anyway, yeah, let's shorten it down by making this intro a little bit faster. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a big fat thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so doing then the top part of my kit, this is what it looks like. I'm in my pajamas at the moment, so that's why you're not really seeing my face. You can just see my hands. But this is the top part of the case, and it's quite big. The fabric is nice and thick, and this is from the brand... MUA Limited on Amazon. I will link it down below if I can find this particular train case that I bought. Um, yes, anyway, it comes with a strap that you can unclip from the sides and you can actually clip it onto the base of the the um, train case so you can clip it, you can kind of do whatever you want with um, that strap. So anyway, moving on. My kit is my life. I love my kit. Um, I'm definitely, I'm not a beauty guru. I don't have Alex drawers full of makeup. I have a vanity area with one drawer and that's pretty much it. I put all my money into my kit. I just invest in this kit so much. So I'm really proud of it at the moment because I've actually restocked it and added more to it only recently. But you can see the base here, but actually up here, I know you can't really see, um, it has a brush roll that's Velcro, so it just literally sticks on top and you can put a few brushes. I just put three little brushes there, just so you can see. I know you can't really see that much, but I love the way this is um, PVC lining and it actually has their logo in there as well, which I love. So you can take this off and use it as a brush roll. Um, as well. Um, when you open it up you have something like this. This is my setup. So up here I keep my skincare. I'm currently restocking my skincare so don't mind how little I have but a lot again it's an investment that I have to make but I'm happy with it for now. So this is the Bioderma. I don't like the Garnier one because I feel like it would break people out so I just use the Bioderma it's a little bit it's a that's actually a lot more expensive than the Garnier one but you can buy little mini ones as well but I just use the sensitive one because you can never be prepared for sensitive skin so always just stick with sensitive stuff and Bioderma works with every skin type as well and yeah I'm comfortable with using Bioderma here then for my oily people I actually have only used this once I recently just bought it. This is the La Roche-Posay Eflacler Matte. I can't pronounce it, but I follow a makeup artist and she recommended it. Um, if I can find her channel, I will actually leave her down below because she's amazing. She breaks up every single detail about makeup artistry, the job, the industry, and all that stuff. So this is the La Roche-Posay Matte kind of moisturizer. This is known for kind of creating just like a layer on top of oily skin. I do have just a simple light hydrating moisturizer. I don't really use this this much but I said I'd keep it in my kit just in case if I have an oily person because I'd only put this in the t-zone and where they get oily and then I'd moisturize their skin with a light moisturizer so I just thought that just keeping it in until I get a new moisturizer that I'm hoping to get. I'm hoping to get an Aven one um, I'm just going to keep this in here just in case as well. But my favourite product out of all of my skincare is the Embryolisse Late Cream Concentrate. 
this is a makeup artist staple. Everyone and their mother and their dog <laughs> uses this. I swear this is actually a dream come true. I recently only bought this like last week and it's my first time ever using it. I've only bought all these new products recently and I absolutely love it. It literally is an, it's an emollient based moisturizer. So again, emollient moisturizers are the best for our, for um, foundation application. So next I keep cotton buds. I really recommend any makeup artist to have cotton buds, especially for anyone who has open wounds on the face. So what I mean is like cold sores, you have to use a cotton bud. Never, ever, ever, ever use your brush. I just don't want to have any of that bad bacteria on my um, brushes because cold sores can actually um, spread really bad sicknesses. Um, you'd be surprised. So just be super careful around open wounds on the face. Next thing I use is alcohol and this is just a spray bottle with a little bit of alcohol in it. I get a massive bottle of alcohol from Sally's um, for about five euros but I keep it in the salon and I just top it up into this bottle which is from Sally's also. Next thing I keep is blank canvas brush cleansing soap and for sponges as well and I also sanitize this so I'm actually going to do it right now because I sanitize this because bacteria from the brushes can build on the top of the soap so I just sanitize that with alcohol as well this is great it smells nice and it's not too expensive I think this cost me about 15 euros for this and it has lasted me quite a while and you get a good bit of product in it and I have a lot of brushes I keep a massive roll of cotton buds you're gonna find cotton pads you're gonna find yourself using a lot of these I use this with my bioderma on their skin before every makeup application okay so moving on to the base these drawers come out and they're quite deep as you can see so you can fit a good bit in them i like to just keep them out and this part is so deep that you can fit everything and anything in here so here i have it's just this brush i haven't got to use it yet i love blank canvas as well so it's brilliant all my brushes are mainly blank canvas and now zoeva because i recently just got a new zoeva brush kit but here i have PVC bags and I got this off Beauty Bay as well. This is by the brand My Kit Co. Um, but this brand, like this quality PVC bag is so good and I think this only cost me around seven euro. And you have two zips here to open from each side. So in here I keep my essentials. So I have my scissors to cut lashes, a, um, is it Molly Cosmetics or something like that? But this is the powder puff I use to put on my pinky so I don't harm the foundation on the face. I keep beauty blenders in here. They're the Real Techniques ones. These are all clean. They're actually just freshly clean. I clean them every single time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I use them. I clean after every client. I have a Vaseline to hydrate anyone's dry lips. I use a cotton bud with this as well. I never um, take like my finger or anything. I use a cotton bud and put it in so it's nice and sanitary inside. A lash glue, I keep this one because it's um, a lot better than the tube one because I've had so many accidents where I lose the top of the tube one, the like, you know, the squeezy tube and it gets everywhere all over my kit. I keep a sharpener. I have two sharpeners. And you want to sanitize your sharpeners as well. These are like completely spotless and I've had these years but because I sh literally sanitize these with a q-tip and I rub all around with alcohol inside and stuff because these grow bacteria as well. Um, I have my stain and steel palette which I got from Primark. It's my favorite one because it has this rubbery thing and it doesn't hurt your hands when you're holding it. I keep two hair clips to tie back hair. And then I also keep two eyelash tweezers in here as well. PVC lined inside. So if you have an accident with foundation, you can just wipe it away. And they have this in all their cases. And I'm just, I'm so going to be buying more from this brand. I really am so impressed with the quality of this bag. 
Um, I love it and I love him as well. He's like my favourite person ever. <laughs> this one I haven't fit. I'm not going to keep these in here because I want to put something else in here. But I haven't figured it out yet. This one's like tall. And it's like a really cool shape and I love it. They have loads of cool shapes to put like pigments, foundations in, everything. So in here I actually have all my disposables in here. Mascara ones, I only buy my mascara ones from Sally's. I have lip brushes and eyeliner brushes. So I have loads of disposables and I have more in the salon actually like in a glass cup. So these are just backups of disposables. And I also recently just bought the eyeliner ones as well. So I have so many disposables, but you need them. And the best ones are from Sally's in my opinion. Okay, in here is my, it looks real dirty, but I actually hate this case because it just gets dirty. Um, and I have tried to sanitize this so many times. But in here I keep lashes. Now, <laughs> I'm actually running a little bit low on lashes, so please don't mind that. But I keep, the only lashes I use for my 5 year ordeal lashes are amazing shine lashes. They have amazing styles and they're really easy to apply on people who aren't used to lashes. So, moving on. I just have regular baby wipes. This is just to clean down my makeup and my own hands. I, and I use them then to clean up fallout. So I just use have regular baby wipes. Here I actually have my brush belt. Um, I keep, I take my brushes out of my brush belt. You will be seeing this full very soon. This one's from Primark. I love the one from Primark. I used to have the one from Sally's, but I don't like it. So I use that, um, but right now it's empty because I find my brushes get damaged in them if I keep them in here. So I actually do put my brushes at the top of my case and also the big one as well to keep them protected while we're traveling in the car. And this little bag, I think this is from like Lidl or something. I keep my tinting essentials. Um, this tinting um, kit is actually from Sally's as well. So I have eyelash developer. Um, and tint developer and then I have three eyelash my client like my clients love this and so does my mom's clients you know when their hair color is developing they just might want their eyebrows tinted I just do it for them for an extra five euros so I have dark brown black and blue black and they're really nice colors and I do mix these to get the shade I want eyelash tinting brush that I use on them keep that in there too and two glass jars that you mix the tint in and then a spoolie that's just used to brush their brows through in the corner i just have this jar filled with my eyeliners and yes i sanitize these because as you can see they look brand new Every single one of these, after I use them, spray with alcohol and I sharpen it and then your pencil is nice and sanitized and clean. Um, and it's PVC lined at the bottom so again if anything spills I can just wipe it and that's why I like this case as well. Okay, pause the video. I lost the footage of me showing my palettes in this video. So make sure to keep an eye out for a part two of my freelance kit video. I'll be showing my brushes and my palettes and all that good stuff. So yeah, make sure to keep an eye out for a part two. <laughs> so in here you have, there's a little button that you need to um, press open. So they don't like just open. Like there's a little button that you need to press to actually open the, drawers. I have, as you can see, the most poppy out one, the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. I have, this is my bronzer and highlight drawer. I have a Bobbi Brown pink glow highlighter. Is That's what it looks like. I, I, You've seen me talk about this like five million times. I have the Beached Bronze bronzer from Urban Decay, which is great as well. It's a nice red bronzer. Ooh, yeah. I don't tend to go for a lot of bronzers. This is mainly for myself. I use my contour palettes for bronzers because they come with bronzers. I have the Mary Luminizer, which I use on everyone. Um, it just looks great on absolutely everyone. It's such a good highlighter. That's from the bomb. I have two NARS Orgasm blushes, the mini versions. I actually got these free when I bought my NARS foundations. 
I have a mini Bare Minerals Warmth Bronzer. I have a NYX blush in the shade Pinched with their old packaging. Um, as you can see, I broke it, so I had to tape it up, but that's their NYX old packaging. I have my all-time favourite blush on everyone and also my favourite blush for myself. It's the NYX Baked Blush in Solstice. So that's what it looks like. It's amazing. I absolutely love it and I way prefer their packaging now. I have two Bare Minerals brush blushes that are in the shade. This one is Sunkissed and this one is in Your Highness. These are absolutely phenomenal. These are my favourite blushes. They're my most used blushes. This one is kind of like a dark purple and this one is like a nice peachy pink. It's Sunkissed and it's great. Then I keep an Inglot highlighter in the shade 03. I never use that, I think it's too intense. A NYX uh, number seven blush actually, which is actually really pretty. I keep this in my kit because of the color. It's like a cool tone pink. So it's, this would be really nice on really, really pale skin tones. It's a cool tone pink with a purple undertone. So I really like it, it's really nice for really light skin tones. So this is in Soft Damson. I have this sleek highlighting palette, which I never use, but I have it in here anyway. Here is all my powders. So I have the Urban Decay Velvetizer here. I keep this in here because it's a great product. Um, it's, it's okay, I haven't really used it that much to be honest. I have my good old Laurier Mercy Air. I have Ellie Girl powders that I use for my oily girls because it's an oil control product and they're great because they have a variety of shades. This is in the shade Classic Tan. I love this as a bronzer and I have the shade Creamy Natural and I think this one is in the shade Porcelain as well. So this is a matte finish powder and these are the main kind of powders I use in my kit. Um, as you can see I have like three of them. I don't have all of them but I'm slowly kind of building them up to have majority of the shades but these shades are doing fine for now. So in here then I have a Note powder. This is no cosmetics powder. It's okay. It's not the best but I do just keep it in here because it's really light. Um, I have a Bare Minerals foundation actually. In here I have my eyebrows. It's a bit like messy because I was traveling in the car so yep stuff gets kind of flying around. Here I have loads of the NYX Vivid Bright and in Urban Decay Bump liquid liner. I also have a, a Master Precise liquid liner but this is for myself. I don't use this on my clients because you can't sanitize pen liners so they're not sanitary to be putting near anyone's eyes, so I don't use them on my eyes. I have the DFMA Brow Palette. Um, if you don't know, I went to the DFMA Makeup Academy, so they gave me this brow palette. I have the Inglot Jawline in a box. I have the Inglot number 77 Gel Liner, a backup version. I have three Benefit for brows. Um, I really like these because they're promades but I also have the option of brow powders and brow promades in my kit. I have two shade threes and one shade four. I have a freedom brow promade in the shade chocolate and I have a Anastasia one in the shade chocolate but this is mine I don't use this on anyone else. I have a mascara, a waterproof mascara. This is by Bourjois. This is the volume one second mascara waterproof. I literally picked this up on sale. It was like two euro um, because it was waterproof as well. So I don't really fuss about mascaras. You don't need expensive mascaras in your kit. I have two brown mascaras, my favorite from Essence. I think they make amazing brown mascaras, believe it or not. This is the Make Me Brown in Brownie and this one is the Make Me Brow in Blondie. Um, these two, I love the wands and I love the formula. So I just keep them both in there. I keep my lipsticks. So I have a variety of shades. I have lip, liquid lipsticks, I have bullets, um, mainly bullets, and yeah, liquid lipsticks, lip lacquers. I love these lip lacquers. 
um, Catrice liquid lip, lip uh, blah, 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 Catrice lipsticks. Lipsticks are great if you're a makeup artist because they're the easiest to sanitize and you there's no way you can kind of cross contaminate your lipsticks because there's a way you can actually sanitize these if you do. So it's great to have a variety of shades of lipsticks. So um, if you do cross contaminate your lipsticks all you need to do is spray with alcohol wipe the first layer off and it's perfectly sanitary and make sure to sanitize the inside of the lid as well i have three shades these are the marvelous moxies by bare minerals they're really nice i have sugar plug smarty pants and merry maker i have three shades and these are all the shades you need in a glass a nice pink a nude and then a kind of like a pinky nude here i have primers i'm not a big fan of primers anymore after i discovered my embryo lease but i still just keep these here because i do like to have every variation of primers i have the catrice prime and fine pore refining mattifying primer thing i have a la girl pro setting hd high definition setting spray matte in a matte finish so i do keep this but i'm so excited to get the mac fix plus in the matte version so i just got this for the time being for my oily skin girls but my mac fix plus is a staple in my kit i use this on everyone i have went through seven bottles of these so far and i'm going to be going through more because i'm going to buy all the different new series to mac mac fix plus i want to have them all in my kit i have the smashbox primerizer which is great for anyone who needs an instant boost of hydration i do love this primer it's my favorite as you know if you watched my how to avoid cakey foundation i have the neod photography fluid opacity 12 percent for photography and to stop flashback and to make your skin look amazing in photography i have a master strobing liquid from maybelline a marc jacobs dew drops which i do love this and my clients love it too a dior glow maximizer this is the urban decay rehab makeup prep i have a prime time from bare minerals and i also have a mini version of the hourglass mineral veil and um, this is great for people with oily skin so i use, use that in there here i keep dfma foundations i don't use these on my clients i just have them just in case and concealers and concealer palettes so here I actually have two samples of the Inglot HD foundation. I know I won't like, I don't like Inglot foundations, but I just got this when I ordered the online from them. So I have the DFMA foundations that I got when I went, was on my Makeup Academy. I do just keep these in here because of the dark shades and I have nowhere else to keep them and I don't want to dump them. I have this DFMA concealer palette, which I have used a few times. And this is another concealer palette that I use for clients who have dark skin or like really bad dark under eyes. I do use this, but I dilute it down with Inglot Drawline and it works wonders. So I do like this palette. I have every single shade and double that in the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage Concealer. They're my favorite concealers for clients. They're the cheapest you can get and they are the best. Don't go out buying the NARS Radiant Creamy for your kit. I'm telling you, get yourself these. These are just, I just can't actually stress enough how good these are. Um, they're my favorite. Like, I have these Love Cosmetics Concealer Palette. The reason why I like this is because it has a salmon shade. In this drawer here, it's my favorite drawer by all time. I'm sure you were like, when are you gonna get onto foundations? But I only use one foundation type in my kit and that's the NARS Lightweight Luminous Foundation. I have one, two, three, four, five, six shades, seven shades and a NARS Liquid Laguna Bronzer. NARS is my favorite brand of all time. They have the best foundations in my opinion. I think they just look phenomenal in photography. They look skin-like and they're buildable and I just love them so much. So drawer I have is this one, my glitter drawer. So this has pigments. As you can see down here, I have a bunch of, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, you kind of can there. I have a bunch of uh, Bare Minerals eyeshadows that were gifted to me from my auntie. She was a makeup artist and she actually gifted these shadows to me. I have loads of MAC pigments, um, MAC, um, eye bases is it cream pots um paint pots yeah i have 
three MAC paint pots. I have pigments from MAC. I have a Stila Magnificent Metals. I have two glitters from Barry M. I have glitters from Inglot, Dripsy Shrine, pigments from Inglot, a glitter base, and yeah. And I have glitters from Urban Decay as well. So that's that drawer. It's just full of glitters, to be honest, and pigments. And that's kind of what I use there. Mainly MAC, Inglot, and Bare Minerals. So that is the end of this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. And if you did, please do give it a big fat thumbs up and also let me know if you want me to do a separate video on about brushes and you know, all that good stuff. So I really do hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, make sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button and until next time, I will see you soon.